Hi, my name is Jesse. I'm a pastor with Christ Zianza Ministries and I want to thank you for joining me on this particular episode and I just want to share something of encouragement to you and I want to ask you just pay attention to the very end of this particular uh, this particular clip and I want to just bring a word to encourage somebody who has gone through rejection uh, somebody probably who is suffering the pain of being rejected the pain of being made to feel like you're not good enough like there's something wrong with you so just allow me to just share with with you from my heart on what I have entitled rejected to be selected somebody has said that you cannot be selected until you have been rejected rejection is one of those things that we go through i don't think there's anybody on the planet who has never gone through one form of, re of rejection or the other uh, of course there are different levels of rejection and uh, we all receive rejection in different ways and different people sometimes recover in one way or the other. But one way or the other, we have all gone through either a small form of rejection or a major one, but we have all gone through it. And rejection, if not well addressed, and if we do not allow God to come and heal our hearts, rejection can destroy you. Rejection can, can, can color your whole life. You, you know, if you allow it, it can, it can develop into bitterness, it can de develop into anger, it, it, it can develop into some unhealthy emotional traits that you may begin exhibiting. Rejection can lead people to depression, it can lead people to suicide. The depression, I mean, rates in our country are going up, suicide rates are going up all over the world. People going through, young people going through rejection. But there's, there's, there's encouragement for us in the scriptures when we think about rejection. There's a young man in the Bible. At that time, of course, when we introduced to him, he was a young man. And I know all of you know him, you love him. That, and that was David. David even before he became king. See, David was a young man growing up in a family, of course, of a big family. And one day, you know, his father's name was Jesse. One day, God sent the prophet. The prophet that time was a man called Samuel to come to the house of Jesse, David's father, to come and anoint a king. Jesse paraded all his sons, the ones who he believed as a father will probably be good material or they would fit the profile of a king. But guess what? David was left out in the field looking after his father's sheep. His father did not even consider that David, you know, would probably be a potential king. You know the story. Samuel comes and goes through all these sons and uh, he himself is a bit confused and, you know, but then God reject, re rebukes Samuel and tells him, see, man looks on the outward, but God looks at the heart. Eventually, Samuel realizes there's a problem and he asks Jesse, are these all your sons? But Jesse remembers can you imagine your own father having to remember that you exist having to remember that you are somewhere and he remembered that there was this young man his own son who was out in the field looking after sheep and Samuel said we will not sit down we will not rest until he's brought here and one thing led to another and David was brought and the moment Samuel laid his eyes on him Samuel knew this is the Lord's anointed and God anointed and he anointed him and from that day the Bible says that the Spirit of God began stirring him up. It's amazing when you look at the life of David after that. He lived a very difficult life. You would think that when you have been anointed, you would think that when the Holy Spirit begins stirring you up, that, that uh, good things begin happening. Yes, they begin to happen. God begin, he begins using you. But sometimes we do not know that the anointing attracts opposition. When you are gifted, it attracts hatred. When, 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 when people perceive that God's favor is upon you, it, 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 it attracts all manner of accusations and, and all manner of jealousy and envy. See, I have come to realize that the, the people hate you. People will fight you. People will accuse you. People will reject you. Not because there's something wrong with you, but because they're jealous about you, because they're afraid of you, because you have something that they don't have. The only reason why somebody wants to hate on another person is because that other person is a threat to them. 
There's something that that person has that I do not have. And, and, and then David encountered people who were jealous. His own brothers were jealous of him. When he shows up in the battlefield, his own brothers did not want him there. And David is rejected even by King, King Saul himself. And King Saul wants to kill David, pin him to a wall with a javelin. David will go from place to place to place. But he met trouble and more trouble and more trouble. Even one point when God had given him a band of men who David had poured out his own life to help these men because the Bible says that these were the, the, the men who were disappointed, the ones who were disenfranchised, the ones who were disappointed. They had gathered around him. But one day, these same, same men who David had led so faithfully had poured himself to, one day they came back home after being in the battlefront only to come and find that the enemy had raided their homes and take away, taken away their wives and their children. And guess what they did? You would think after they cried and wailed until there was no more strength left in them, they turned against David and they wanted to stone him. You know what David did? The Bible says David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. That is my word to you today. Have you gone through rejection? Oh, rejection is painful. Don't get me wrong. I know it is painful. But you want to defeat rejection because the rejection is a tool of the enemy to destroy you, to destroy your potential. It is a tool of the enemy to kill you, to kill your destiny, to ensure that you do not come to your destiny. But I have good news for you. He who has created you will ensure that you come to your destiny. David was rejected and rejected, but eventually David, I'm sure, understood why he had to go through so much rejection. Because you cannot be selected by God until you have been rejected by men. Hang in there. Those who reject you, if people, have reject, if people want to walk away out of your life, let them walk. If people want nothing to do with you, no problem, let them go. If people turn against you, it's okay. Let them, let them turn against you. It was never about you in the first place. It's about what you're carrying. And when we are carriers of, of, of the anointing and the favor of God, it will attract rejection, it will attract opposition. David encouraged himself. I encourage you, my brother, my sister, wherever you are, wherever you are, maybe you have been so rejected, maybe your husband walked out on you, your wife walked out on you, maybe your children have rejected you, your employer, rejected you, your boss rejected you, maybe even your loved ones, your siblings rejected you, maybe you always felt like the outcast. I'm here to tell you that God has not rejected you. God instead has selected you. Your promotion is coming. Your elevation is coming. And when those around you, those who rejected you, when they see it, they will say, surely this is the doing of the Lord. Eventually, David found himself in the very place that he had been anointed for. You will come to your destiny, I promise you. You will come to that place that God anointed you, that place that he has set aside for you, you will come to it. Hang in there, encourage yourself in the Lord your God. He has not rejected you. May the Lord help you. Those of you who are down today, may the Lord lift you up. Those who are discouraged, may the Lord encourage you. Those who are feeling disappointed, may the Lord appoint you in the name of Jesus. You've been listening to me, Jesse Mwai, and I felt I just needed to encourage you and I hope you have been encouraged by that word, that you have been rejected so that you can be selected. You cannot be selected until you have been rejected. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, stay tuned. Stay with us. Connect with us on YouTube. Connect with us on uh, Facebook. Connect with us on Instagram, on Twitter. We are on all, on all those social media platforms. We want to hear from you. Give us your testimony. And may the Lord bless you. See you another time.